okay, this tire was done. The struggle's real. Look at this tire. We rode that damn thing till it couldn't ride no more. Look at that shit. <sighs> we weren't too worried about it though, it's on the back. On our way to where? Well, we were going. <laughs> Oh, on the way to North Carolina and back? Is that what you're talking about? No, where, 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 where are we heading right now? I can't remember the name of the town. Casewell? Casewell? <laughs> anyway, we were headed out to go look at a house. And then the, the tire decides that it wants to finally be replaced. Nope, no, 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 no. So now we gotta stop and get us a tire. Great. We were trying to put this off as long as possible. Mm, and we did. Oh yeah, we did, obviously. <laughs> we did. <laughs> this tire was worn. <laughs> nope, don't lose that. Don't lose that, Bowie. <laughs> put them back where I had them. I don't wanna lose them. Bowie. Big truck. Chris keeps whistling. Fa la 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 la. I have no idea why I have Christmas music in my head. It drives me insane, really. I don't even celebrate Christmas. And you got it stuck no in your more. head. And I have it stuck in my head. In February. Well, now we got a long country ride. And we gotta find somewhere that'll sell us a tire. Put it on here. Dude, this place is like way out in the country. So, really don't know what to think about it, but we know we do want to be out in the country, especially for end times. When we die from end times, we want to be out, like, without too much craziness. If we could die in peace. <laughs> what? <laughs> You don't want to die in the city in the end times. I can tell you that. Chopped off by the guillotines. No, you probably get ate by the zombies. <laughs> if you make it through the zombies, then you might get your head chopped off by a guillotine. See, you think the zombies are actually just gonna be a bunch of people running around like hungry as hell, trying to eat you? <laughs> Just like insane yeah. and just trying to eat other people because they're so hungry. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a it's kind of offensive to a lot of people to talk like this. But what the awake people consider sheeple are the zombies. Because the sheeple are gonna be the ones out in the you know like with no food trying stocked to eat their up. Neighbors. Yeah, they're gonna be. Uh, relying on the government to feed them which is the enemy and the government at the end times they're gonna be like I can't help you sorry. So that's why they're gonna take the market. So then yes. yeah so then all the sheeple are gonna get be probably eating each other or eating whatever they can because also most of the sheeple do not believe 
and God, so they're just gonna eat whatever. They don't care, you know. That's kind of one thing, that's kind of one reason, if you ask me, of why God tells you what to eat in the Bible. Kind of like, you know, not to eat people, but if you're not a believer, then you're kind of like, well, I can eat whatever I want, you know. If I'm starving, I can even eat my neighbor because there's no one to punish me for it, you know, so. And the Bible is more about kind of like you shouldn't eat your neighbor or pork or, you know. Thou shalt not eat your neighbor. <laughs> well, it says you shall do unto your neighbor like you would like your neighbor to do unto you, which is not eat him. <laughs> <laughs> or his wife, don't eat his kids, <laughs> and don't eat his so pigs. don't rape his wife, don't eat him, and don't eat his kids. And a lot of people will be going against all three of those things. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. So in that's the why we want to live out in the country. Yeah, in the end times, people stuck in the city, starving they will be eating each other they'll be killing each other they'll be eating each other they'll be viciously doing whatever they can to survive and I don't want to be in the middle of that I'd rather be out in the country way out from my studies you want to be like at least like a day's walk from the city like most hungry people they're not really gonna walk like a whole 24 hours looking for food some will but most people they're gonna stay around other people to try to survive yeah and try to survive in groups anyway. how did we get on this just by telling them that we're going to look at a house because we're crazy <laughs> we're crazy we're literally crazy most people think we're pretty dang crazy continue on Indian <sighs> Like yesterday was the 33rd year after the uh, Challenger explosion. 33rd year. It's funny how you never really heard about it anymore until it hit the 33rd year and then they're like, oh, we gotta talk about this now. Yeah. 33 is a very cultic number. Yeah. And for the flat earthers who do not believe in space and know that NASA never went to the moon and know that they aren't in space traveling around like NASA wants you to think, of course, faking a shuttle explosion is, they have all the reason to do it because if they didn't fake it, they would have actually had to go to space, which doesn't exist. Boom, the shuttle explodes so they don't have to go to space. And then they, they uh, you don't even want to research how much insurance NASA claimed off of the explosion of the Challenger. So they got, you know, a buku amount of insurance money. Then they got like program extension extension fees, like so that this will never happen again. And then the next time they try to go to the moon, it'll all work out. But then what happened? They lost the all technology. the technology. <laughs> they lost the technology to ever do it again. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. So they had the technology, what was it? 1986. Yeah, in 1986 they had but, the technology, but, but not anymore. But now in 2019, they don't have that technology anymore. Just oh, to yeah, go to the moon. You can definitely research. But, but, the, now uh, they're, but now all of a sudden, what, they're about to have technology to go to Mars? Oh, yeah, something? they got the technology to go to Mars. Yeah. It's not just not the moon. <laughs> you can oh, research dude, Krista they're... McAuliffe. Krista McAuliffe was the, supposed to be the first teacher in space. The, uh, the teacher who blew up in the Challenger. You can research. She's still alive. There are pictures of her. She is yeah. still alive as well as six of the other astronauts. One of the astronauts, I think, died from old age, whatever. Six of the astronauts are still alive and kicking. There's picture proof. And and if you watch, if you pay close attention to the, the old Challenger video, 
Krista's parents were actually, they actually have video footage of her parents watching it blow up. And they didn't even cry or get upset. This they were just okay. like, Let's you can say. if you turn it up real loud, you will actually hear her mom be like, what was that? And her husband's like, that's a firework. All I'm saying is if Melanie blew up in a spacecraft to space, and I'm looking at the spacecraft blowing up, and I'm like, <laughs> That's literally what Kristen McCullough's mom, mom yeah. did as the ch as the Challenger was exploding. She didn't. She wasn't like, "Oh my God, my daughter, my daughter, yeah. oh my God." She was like, oh. "Yeah." Even after that, they were just kind of like standing around looking. It took literally like five minutes for anyone to start crying. All the crisis actors, you know, they're like, "It's time to cry now." Oh, okay. Kristen hey. McCullough's mother never cried. Yeah, she never cried. She was just like, "What's?" What's going on? And her husband's like, it's just a maybe, maybe we should go. Maybe know? we should go talk to someone about what just happened because it, it appears that uh, the spacecraft has exploded. But it's okay. Let's just go get some information. <laughs> it's fine. It's gonna be all right. Oh, it's so fake. It's so fake. Guys, the Challenger exploded, but they had it planned. It wasn't. There were no deaths. There were no astronauts on it. It was just an explosion. It, it was a firework. Rocket. It was literally a firework. A big ass firework. A huge firework. firework. Research it yourself. Don't don't take two rednecks word for yeah. it. Yeah. And if people don't like. I mean, that's one thing we have learned in the past is the truth pisses people the off. The truth shall set you free. But it'll piss you off first. <laughs> and when you feel it piss you off and it makes you angry, that should make you think. Because if it's not true, why would it make you ain't so angry if it's not true? You'd be like, ah, whatever, you idiot. You know what I mean? But when you hear it, it makes you angry and you're like, hmm. I mean, it made me angry the first time I was hearing all this stuff. Like, really? Because you can't it's believe like, that you've been yeah, lying to your yeah, old you life. Yeah, you can't believe it. You're just like, are you kidding me? I've been believing this since I was a kid. Really? You know? Anyway, well, let's go get us a tire. The Earth is flat. <laughs> oh, yeah. 1986, the shuttle Challenger exploded about 74 seconds after takeoff, killing all seven astronauts inside. Or did it? It turns out that six of the seven are still alive and kicking today. Ellison Onizuka claims to be his identical twin brother, Claude. Yeah, I've got an identical twin brother, Claude, too. The Challenger pilot, Mickey Smith, hasn't even bothered changing his name. He's now Professor Michael J. Smith of University of Wisconsin. Now, Krista McAuliffe was a bit of a sneaky one. She was the Challenger payload specialist, quite famous for being a teacher. It turns out, during her astronaut days, she was using her middle name, Krista. And now she goes by her first name, Sharon. And she's a Syracuse law professor. The Challenger commander, Francis Richard Scobie, is now Dick Scobie, which sounds like a rather unpleasant disease, CEO of Cows in Trees Limited. Judith Resnick, the Challenger Mission Specialist, again, hasn't even bothered changing her name. She's a professor at Yale Law. And finally, Ronald McNair, another Challenger Mission Specialist, claims to be his identical twin brother, Carl McNair. What are the odds? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Get us some ties. Looks like people got a little fishing spot over here. Got them a nice little spot with a tarp. Some fishing rod holders. Wonder if they walk over from one of them houses over there. Looks like that house has an actual like dock. 
or some kind of like walking pier. So I guess maybe they walk from there over to that. Took about like literally like 10 minutes, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh we can't turn the freaking camera on without him saying dumpster. <laughs> like our lives are more than that. <laughs> we got more going 30 on. Minutes to go. It is way out in the country. Way the up. price is right and the rooms are right. Dude, the house is huge. So that's the main reason we're like, dude, maybe we should move out there. It's a big old house. Yeah. So. so this, this one's a four bedroom, two bath. And usually for a four bedroom house, you're looking at $1,000 a month. Oh, at least for four bedroom oh. shit, maybe more than that. Yeah, maybe more than that, yeah. of course. But this is it's well good. in our in our area in like Hampton Roads area, a house like that you'd be paying sixteen hundred a month out yeah. in that area. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's why we're looking out in the country like around North Carolina. And we were gonna be there during the daylight and have like an hour of daylight. Now it looks like we're not. Sorry. A lot of folks swear by that though. They think you should check out the house at night to make sure that the neighborhood's good and you know there's nobody around causing trouble and stuff. If it's a nice, quiet, peaceful experience at night, it's probably alright during the day. Mm -hmm. We shall see. towards like what we know as home now. We gotta go across this breeze. Hey, look at that house. get any footage of the house so I guess Holly is just gonna have to grab a few pictures off of where we found it and show y'all because 
the perfect house. It was kind of the perfect it house. Like it was a huge. Was it was perfect a, for Holly. It was a huge house, but it was old. And he was talking about some of the problems with it, like the AC not working and then being too expensive to fix. And anyway, like he talked our ear off for an hour, and then he decided not to rent to us because we can't afford two months rent plus a security deposit. Yeah. Every other place we've ever looked at, ever in eternity, is first month's rent plus deposit. But no, he wants first month's rent, last month's rent, and deposit. Eh -eh. <laughs> yeah. No. I was like, nah. I was like, I'll give you, you know, the deposit, which matches the first month's rent and the first month's rent, which is like twice the amount of the rent. He I'll was give like, you that. It's, up it's front. pretty standard to get uh, the first month's and last month's <sighs> rent. And Chris is like, okay, yeah, if you don't get a deposit, if you get a first <laughs> month's rent and a deposit, that's standard. If you get a first month's rent and last month's rent without the deposit, that's standard. Yeah, uh, it's right. not all three. Yeah, so we didn't right. get the house. Yeah. And so it's we kind were of like, well, list. we're not doing this. You ain't doing this. But it was the perfect house. It was so cute. But we really wouldn't want to live there. In that area. Oh yeah, that's like, what I meant. You're to pretty say. much. That's what I meant to say. It was the perfect house, yeah, but it, not the perfect area. Yeah, you're pretty much like far away from everything. You know? It was out in the boom. And docks. and I think we have our kind of our mind set on the area we want to be, where there's like because the flea market. We're near <laughs> where it's near some flea markets. It's kind of country, so we kind of have our mind set on that area anyway. And hopefully, maybe we can find a house like this in that area. That yeah. would be. That's shit. tough though, because then you got a good area, and they want to charge more, because it's a good area. It's nah, like, this area is about to go on rate seven hundred, eight hundred, maybe a thousand. You know, a month up there. We might end up paying a thousand a month for like the perfect, awesome house, but it's gonna happen. We're gonna find it. I would be down to pay a thousand dollars a month if it was by the flea market and I knew we were consistently making money. And it I has would be a, down. And it has a big garage. Yeah. Heavenly Father, please show us the right house. Anyway, <laughs> to kind of, we're like on our way back home and we're in Elizabeth City. That just kind of shows you how far away this house was from where we're at. And it's far from everything. So we were like way past Elizabeth City, which was way farther out in the country. I still can't remember the name of the town. I still can't remember it. Caswell? But, but anyway, we decided since we're on our way home, we stopped in Elizabeth City to get us some coffee. So we're going to check this these like two shopping centers and try our luck, see if we find anything. What in this uh, Dollar, Tree. Dollar Tree dumpster? Dumpster, <laughs> and the wind is picking up. And it is windy. Mm. And raining. Ugh. Any stuff? Whoa. Dude, I didn't even open that lid. I picked it up a little bit and the wind blew it open. Bunch of well, that's a bunch of hot sauce? Bunch of hot sauce. Oh yeah, we're taking that. Louisiana. Dude. What? Oh yeah! Oh, no oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's full. Dang. Brand new box of Twix. I wonder. Oh yeah! More Why Twix. Why they get rid of all their Twix? <laughs> recall. That's that's the word I was looking for. Recall. A recall for Twix. No, for the hot sauce. Man, I might as well open the van door. Found us some Twix. Eat a Twix. Twix <laughs> white. Huh? Twix white? I don't know. What is it? White chocolate? Uh -huh. Ooh! No wonder they threw them away. Yeah, it's Twix it's white. Those are the kind that white chocolate is what Rodney and Ivy always want. Really? I'm just like, yeah. Don't nobody want a damn box of Some white chocolate Twix? Some people love white chocolate. I don't huh. get it. 
What's that, I wonder? It's shelving, that metal shelving shit that we always see. All right, what else we got over here? It looks like somebody threw some stuff away. Like maybe their own personal stuff, like a watch. Stuff. Ooh, that looks like cat hair. <laughs> mm. right. I don't even know what these dumpsters are really. Hibbit. Landlord room. Landlord room. <laughs> what the hell? That's weird. Mm. It's like my cardboard. Pillow or something. Oh, it's a vacuum. Oh. Or it's an or it. It's an or it vacuum. About to get this cord right under. This uh, these real long cords like this, you can actually turn it into an extension cord. All you gotta do is just pretty much go to like Lowe's or Home Depot and get one of the plug-ins for it and put it on there. I mean, that's pretty. That's quite a long little cord right there. It's pretty long. So take that off. Just add add the other, the female end, whatever you want to call that, into that part. Got you an extension cord for whatever you want in the house or whatever. Or if you don't want to use it as an extension cord, just throw it in with the scrap wires and scrap. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, so far we got us a cord and some and white chocolate Twix. Twix. I can see that being like kind of a, a, a part of the the thing, you know, to help move along like the mark of the beast and have people accepting the mark of the beast because they say, you know, basically you can't buy, sell, trade without it or eat. You're not going to be able to eat unless you grow your own food and so or dumpster will be checking dumpsters for food. Yeah, or dumpster dive. So that's kind of another way of them to get to stop you from making it without say like the government or the mark of the beast to take away this free stuff like make it where they companies have to use a compactor that way people can't go get free stuff out of dumpsters anymore because yeah. that's a big way that people have survived for a long time people like have in our survived. last dumpster diving video when that poor girl was sleeping in the damn yeah. dumpster like yeah. people are surviving from dumpsters from getting their food from it it's their shelter and if yeah. they if they make it to where there are no dumpsters and there's only compactors, yeah, you'll start relying on the government a lot more. Yeah, and then it'll be like illegal to leave stuff on your curb and you know. I mean look, they're already making it illegal like to feed the homeless. I've seen people getting fined, like on YouTube, I've seen people actually getting fined for setting up like cookouts for the homeless. They'll find them, oh you didn't have a permit to do this for the homeless. You know, like they're just doing anything they can to control stuff. It's, it's pretty scary, you know. Anyway, we pretty much have like... Does he need to get back in his seat? Are we going on the road? No, here? we're going back in... We're still in the parking lot right here. We're going behind Walmart. I think there's a couple other places down here. Oh, I forgot about that Walmart dumpster. I wanted to check that again. What Walmart dumpster? The one that we got the... Uh, there was beer and calendars. And oh, yeah, yeah. That one could be interesting for a couple days. Yeah, I, it was hard passing up all that beer, man. That was a lot of free beer. That was probably $60 worth of beer. And most of it was still perfect. Was, but Everyone in the trailer park drinks. But, you could have given it to anybody. Yeah, but I ain't drinking. I ain't going to be tempted. I'm just leaving the beer alone.
because tonight, today is my 29th day of not drinking beer and, well, well any alcohol. Month. Yep. Or smoking. Kiki! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not saying that I'm quitting forever. I mean, I might have a glass of wine here and there, but I am not going to be an alcoholic anymore like I have been. I'm not going to be drinking every single day or every weekend or whatever. I don't want it to be a habit anymore. I want it to be like a special an occasion. An enjoyable experience. Yeah, yeah, a special occasion thing. Like, okay, it's a special occasion. I think I'm going to get me a bottle of wine, you know, whatever. But it ain't going to be a habit. We've saved a hell of a lot of money this month. A whole lot of money this month. No alcohol or smoking. Yeah, you could bet we've saved a whole lot of money. We really do want to start packing up a lot of stuff from storage. Um, possibly auctioning off a lot of stuff, you know, maybe just boxing stuff up and auction, starting it at 99 cent on eBay or something. Just kind of make fun of a lot of stuff. Even the tiles, a lot of the tiles maybe that uh, that I have already fit in like the uh, same rate shipping boxes. Put, putting stuff on eBay. Yeah, put those on eBay. Of, and a lot of the YouTube family members have asked for, but we just never yeah. had time to. Like, yeah, we post it. Yeah, just po start posting it, selling it, posting it, selling. That's it. what takes a lot of time. It's the selling part is easy, making the deal is easy. It's just packing it and shipping it and posting mm. it. And, uh, so we really need to spend some time doing that so I don't know we're gonna have to do some like some more storage videos here shortly so we can include you guys you know keep our YouTube going while we're working on this stuff at the same time you know so because our, our revenue is kind of like going down a little bit it's a little scary you guys haven't been watching the ads have you <laughs> <Like> <laughs> Dude, we just had a video hit 90,000 views but like in a month and our revenue was going down. We're like, is what is going on? How is it possible like, for a YouTube channel to have a video that hits almost 100,000 views in a but month? You don't see it. And then you, your you revenue don't doesn't any go change up. In like, your, yeah, our revenue didn't go up. We're like, what the it hell went down. is going on? We like, had a video blow up and our revenue. Revenue went down. Yeah, that's what uh, I'm. That's I'm scary. That uh, yeah, especially now that we're trying to move and and YouTube, yeah, you know, AdSense yeah. is making no sense. Yeah. So. <laughs> AdSense. <laughs> uh, anyway, stay tuned for more stuff. Don't give up on us. We're just going through a bunch of stuff, trying to find a house and move and stuff. So if this like. Uh, gap in between videos just know we're not dead or nothing nothing happened we're just trying to get our lives in order so we can move because we're doing a lot of packing at our house too getting a lot of stuff packed up cleaned up we're trying to get the place showable to sell it and everything and we don't really want to record that because our place is like a mess it's crazy it's gonna be cute once we get the carpet in and actually like yeah, it'll be cute, but we're just trying. Yeah, we're trying it's... to get all of our stuff out. I would it's love just to actually now. walk them through the whole trailer and finally show them the whole trailer once it's like cute and cleaned up. And, and then you'll see how really small it is. Yeah. you'll be like, "Holy crap! They've been finally living there for three through, years." <laughs> finally walking through the whole trailer. I think yeah. Really cool. Actually, I've been there longer than three years. A little longer than that. So anyway, we're out, y'all. We love you guys. Thanks for all your support and everything. And Give us a thumbs up. Keep us going. Watch those ads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and pray for us. We really need to find the right house for us. With some space so we can be creative and breathe and build me a really nice wood shop. Because all that's going to be on video. Too. Build me a freaking shop and stuff. So I'm going to piece it together all on video. Time for you getting your seat, boy. He's sticking our coffee stir Tell me sticks. Time to get in your seat. And time to get in your seat. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes. Say bye, Elion. <laughs>